We begin right away with breaking news now at 6 o'clock. The T will be running on a limited schedule tomorrow, but General Manager Beverly Scott says it will take, get this, 30 days to get things back to normal. That is if there are no further blizzards. That's a big if a at huge this if. point. And she says that the infrastructure has simply been crippled by all of this snow, as we've seen. The T is now seeking federal disaster relief funds as well. Paul Burton joining us live in Quincy. That's where crews were very busy today, and a lot of people are trying to get these trains from being stuck. Jonathan, you're absolutely correct. In fact, many people are now even shocked about this latest news. 30 more days before the MBTA becomes fully functional again. And like you said, and that's that there are no major blizzards, and we know that there's more snow on the way. We know that the MBTA is now applying for federal assistance. Many, many people here are disappointed. They know they have to be patient. They know that this is unprecedented amount of snow. Many were out today trying to shovel off the tracks to get this MBTA up and running. All hands on deck and then some for the MBTA. We want to clean down there, we want to clean the running rail and the third rail. Chopping through the thick layers of ice and snow, union workers, students and others looking to make some extra cash were busy all day trying to clear the tracks. A little snow on the top, uh, but the, the rest is like ice, but, well at least two, three inches of ice. The MBTA is paying 30 bucks an hour to folks willing to help clear the snow. Frank Melchioni works part time at a deli and decided to sign up. I need the extra money. You know, times are hard. Uh, I work part time, but a little extra money is always helpful. Frank's been at it since 7 this morning. He says the work is tedious, but worth the money and the mission to get the MBTA aging system up and running again. Everybody's working together like, you know, Boston Strong. Once again, the transit system completely shut down Sunday for the storm that dumped an additional 16 more inches of snow. Kind of a pain. Look all the snow. The train, it's just delay after delay. Today, rail and bus lines were operating on a limited schedule. Commuters say they will be relieved when the MBTA is fully functional again. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, back to normal will be fa fantastic. Well, I'll be happy, <laughs> but um, you know, if it's not, it's the weather, it's Mother Nature, there's nothing we could do about it, but uh, we just got to keep adjusting, and they're doing the best they can. Doing the best they can. They know they have to be patient, but 30 more days is not what they were expecting. They were hoping at least maybe sometime next week it'd be fully functional, but now we know it's going to take a lot long, longer than that. For more information on how to get around tomorrow, you can go on our, our website at WCBSBoston.com. We're live in Quincy. I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. Jonathan, back to you. Paul, thanks very much.